Ayo, guys. I just opened my door and boom, Angie's right there waiting for me. Look at her. Just waiting. I wonder what she wants. And it's kind of night. Like, does she work on art at this time? Hmm. Let's talk. Huh? Suichi? Where are you going? I can ask that same question to you. No. Ah, nowhere in particular. What about you, Angie? Angie wa ne. Oh! I was just talking to the others. About what? Talking shit about me? You talking shit about me? <laughs> talking? Mane. Since they can't hear Atua's voice, I was explaining his wisdom to them. Okay, okay. Ah, I see. I missed that sermon. I mean, uh, influential talk about the great Atua. <laughs> Atua was touched by everyone's feelings. So he said, we must all preserve the peace here. You know, Angie, you're right to a certain degree. We shouldn't preserve the peace if it comes at the expense of people's feelings and it will be a detriment to our safety. And what I mean by that is, is being here the safest option? Is being peaceful here the right choice? <laughs> I'm so relieved. I'll work with everyone to make this academy a paradise. And in, and pretty much, you know, in her doing so, making this academy a paradise, being peaceful here, you're doing what the Mono Cubs want. That's not a good thing. She'll work with everyone? I wonder what she means by that. Goodbye, Nala. Bye, Onara, Shuichi. See you tomorrow. I have a bad feeling about this. Miko's magic show was Angie's idea as well. Crap. Everything Angie comes up with, someone dies. Well, then again, the first chapter doesn't count. What is she planning this time? Wait a minute. Her room was this way. <laughs> you know, because, is it? Wait, her room is here. She went back to her room, right? I'm going to find that out right now. I'm sure we're going to train today. I should head to the courtyard. Fine. Mm. It looks like Kaito isn't here yet. Then suddenly, there he is. Yo. Hey, sorry I was late. I had trouble bringing her. Bringing who? Uh. Her? Me again. Why am I here? I'm not gonna just watch you guys work out. Kaido, let me go back. Maki? Why is Maki here? So, ne. That's what I like to know. Someone kept buzzing my intercom, and I got so fed up, I finally opened the door. And this guy grabbed my arm and dragged me all the way here. Why don't I kill him? Mm, I really want to. Vaga. Well, don't worry about the small stuff. Uh, you totally like me. If we're gonna train, it's more fun with three people than two, right? Huh? Training. The three of us? Is that really the reason you dragged me here? Baka baka shi. This is stupid. I'm going back. Hmm. <laughs> You calling this stupid? Bust out the abs. <laughs> Ego. Listen up. When a hero has to fight with a big enemy, they train, train, then train some more. That's what this training is. 
is important for a hero like me. So, you guys can be like super dog, cat, or horse by my side to help me be the hero. Yeah, boy! Yeah, my sidekicks. Of all the examples you could have picked, you know, you could have said Robin, Bucky, Arson Arsenal. Is it Arsenal? No, Speedy, Speedy. Um, who else? Just other other sidekicks, man. Did you really think that crazy explanation would convince me to stay? Well, yo, you're absolutely right. I just am so curious to see how this ends. This is still stupid. I'm going back. Mother. Hey, hold on a sec. When I said I was the hero, that's just from my perspective. Even super pets think of themselves as heroes. Why are we pets, bro? You, de you demoted us. We're supposed to be sidekicks, not pets. Call me Crypto? The same goes to the both of you. Each of you are the heroes of your own stories. So act more like it. Yeah, my bros. Terichi, really? This is what you hang out with? He, him, this guy? Oh my God! I, I, God bless you. He's so stupid. No. I don't know what you're up to, but I told you both to stay away from me. You know this will end badly if you don't. So why are you being so difficult? No. How long are you gonna run away? Come again? Eh? What? Kaito brought his face close to Maki's. Mm. Your mask is coming down. I could tell just by looking at you today. So, you guys mind your business, I'll mind mine. And we will all agree to avoid each other. Please, just pretend I'm not even here. I don't know. You're not the terrifying person that others think you are. You're just a coward. That stings. No. Hey, what's your enemy? Huh? Huh? My enemy? You don't need to tell me what it is. As long as you know it yourself. So, how long are you gonna run away from your enemy? Eh? Run away? It reminds me of uh, Outlaw Star. You just gonna keep running away? I'm not running. Yeah, you've been running away. It's pretty pathetic if you ask me. Ain't that right, Suichi? Tell her how pathetic she's being. But if you want to stand against it, even a little, I'll train with you so you can be strong like me. What? Oh. <laughs> That's that face, yo. It's like... I'm ready to just beat your ass with an inch of your life. I won't kill you because you haven't tried to kill me. But I'm just going to beat your ass real quick and show you who's the strong one here. Maki's getting angry. Kaido is just provoking her. I'm not watching be like, you're right. Is he going to be okay? He's antagonizing the ultimate assassin. So, what are you going to do? Momotaku. Hey, Kaito, it's okay. You don't have to. Wakatta. Fine, I'll do it. Uh? Huh? You'll do it? Dattara. Don't get the wrong idea. You'll just bug me about it later if I refuse. 
It's not like I like him or anything. Heh. <laughs> <laughs> so you do get it. <gasps> the only way to deal with idiots like him is to give up and just keep nodding. <laughs> you don't get it at all then. <laughs> Whatever. You just better get ready. I won't hold back just because you're a girl. No. Well, what are we doing first? <laughs> Alright, first 100 push ups. Somehow Maki ended up joining us, and the three of us trained together. So Maki, I'm, a, I'm I'm almost there to confirm it, man. She's our friend. She's our bro. Yo, man, you must be strong as a great typhoon. Two hundred done. One hundred. I'm done. Maki stood and brushed the dirt from her hands, totally composed. Masaka. You're done already? No. You're not even out of breath. Guess you've trained before, huh? <sighs> Aren't you breathing a little too hard? Not like we really pushed ourselves. <laughs> but before coming here, I did some warm-ups. I already did 500 push-ups, so... Kaito? That was the best lie you could come up with? No. Anyway, I'm done. And you can't say I didn't train with you. I'm going back to my room. Oh! oh okay, we're, we're done training. We're doing training tomorrow too. You better be there! No comment. Maki ignored Kaito and left without a word. Jeez, why she's gotta be so difficult? Yeah. Hey Kaito, why did you do all of this? To help her? Mm hmm, if someone's weak, you help them out. Teamwork's important for astronauts. <laughs> if someone's weak and suffering, there's no way you can just leave them. <laughs> weak and suffering? Maki? Girl who did 100 push ups in like 2 seconds? Well, in that sense, you're. Yeah. No, your case is still a little different. <laughs> what do you mean? <laughs> Nothing! Anyway, let's keep going. You're still in the middle of your push ups, right? <laughs> so are you. <laughs> Weren't you listening? I already did 500 push ups before I got here. Nice try, Kaito. Kaito ended up saying he didn't remember how many push-ups he did. We agreed to start over and we were exhausted by the time we reached 100. Uh, so tired. When I got back to my room, I huffed out a deep sigh and fell backwards onto my bed.
Mm. Kaito bringing Maki. He really is crazy. But maybe it's because he's so crazy that Maki came in the first place. Kaito, you really are something else. My eyelids closed as I continued talking to myself. And eventually, I drifted to sleep. Auto damn theater, uh, uh, yeah. Like Neo in the Matrix dodging them bullets, uh. Curious? Curious what we mono cubs do when you're not around? I'll tell you. We listen to foreign music and laugh at the funny sounding words. When we hear words that sound perverted, we get really excited. We also wear pajamas all day and lounge in an air conditioned room. And when we all go out together, they usually make me steal. Get it? That's a pun. Cause I'm made of steel. Oh! See? We're all such good friends. We're always together. Except when they run away when I get caught stealing. This is an official announcement from the Ultimate Academy. It is now 8am. This is an emergency announcement. Please assemble in the gym. Refusal to get along is grounds for punishment. Oh Mona Dam, you really obsess with this whole get along thing. Friends is the only show he watches now. If you don't get along, I won't forgive you. I will use the existers to peel your faces off like mandarin oranges. Yeah, that's so gory. Please get along, everyone. I just washed a couch. Right now, you're on the threshold of an amazing adventure. Ah, she puked again. Oh, it's blue this time, eh? How rare. They say, anyone who sees Monophony's blue puke will have good luck. So long, bear well. Assemble in the gym, huh? I have a bad feeling about this. What's going on in the gym? Oh, okay. Everyone's heeding. Everyone is heeding the call. Oh, hey, bro. Good morning. Did you hear the announcement? Yeah, we gotta meet up in the gym, right? What's going on so early in the morning? Well, I guess we got no choice but to go. You go on ahead, bro. What? You're not going? Nah, I'm going. I just gotta take care of something first. Then I'll meet you there. Kaido pointed at the door to Maki's room. I suppose he's going to take her. Oh, good point, good point. Maki doesn't want to do anything right now that involves us and the monocubs are threatening everyone who don't show up. No. They said everybody's gotta be there, right? Who knows what will happen if someone... Sorry. Who knows what will happen if some of us don't show up? Mm. Yeah, you're right. Last night's training session, and now this? Kaito is really concerned about Maki. It would be nice if he could help her get along with everybody. Good morning, Kyo. Are you going to the gym? Uh. Ah. Yes. I 
I was about to head over just now. I overslept a bit today, you see. <laughs> of course. The one time I do that, we are summoned. So I panicked a bit. Annoying. I am normally ready to leave my room by 7.30 a.m. <laughs> that early? I usually wake up at the Mono Cubs announcement. <laughs> well, I usually wake up at 6 a.m. since it takes me so long to get ready each morning. You gotta understand this uh, wonderful look I have going on here. You just don't wake up like this. It takes work. Why does it take so long? Isn't that even longer than what a girl takes? Well, Kyo does have a pretty elaborate uniform. Perhaps, perhaps that's why. Something. In any event, we've no time for idle chats. I shall go on ahead to the gym. To the gym. Good morning, Samugi. Huh? Oh, good morning. Are you about to head to the gym too, Suichi? Mm. Yeah, I certainly don't want to ignore summons like that. Right. If we all don't show up, he might think we're not getting along or something. Before I thought Monodam was the most reasonable out of them, but he's pathologically fixated on getting along. He's even killed other Mono Cubs over it. It seems like he was actually the most dangerous one. One wrong step, and he's full on Yandere. What is he talking about? Can I apply that logic to you, Samugi? Because if I do, then you might be someone we should all be scared of. You keep calling yourself plain. You keep saying no one notices you. Are you an example of someone who's way into anime and ends up, you know, killing everybody like an anime? Jesus Christ, Samugi. I'm just thinking thinking totally dark things about you right now. Just because I applied logic from like Mono Dan, but, 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 there's a key difference. Samugi isn't a robot, okay? So, you know, he, she's, I assume, programmed with good intentions and we want her to be happy, that's all. Hey, Kibo! Good morning! Good morning, Kibo. Suichi, doesn't this summons give you an uneasy feeling? Well, yes, I, I suppose it does. Based on prior events, perhaps another motive is going to be announced. Timing is similar to when we received the Mono Cubs pad. Mm. Yes, I think that may be the case. So does it. But it's alright. No matter what kind of motive is prepared for us, we can oppose it together. Mm -hmm. Huh? Kimemashita. Don't worry. We won't allow the kidding game to continue. That was strange. Kibo is uncharacteristic optimistic and he kept saying we what did he mention by won't allow it to continue good lordy lordy
I swear, if I pass the gym. Okay, where's the gym? <laughs> I forget so easily. I am the worst when it comes to like directions. Okay, Jim is behind me. Not that behind me. What is it? Oh my god. Even with a map, I'm still lost. <laughs> oh, we're here. We made it. We made it. Seems like everyone's here. No, no, no. One, two, three, four. Gonta is not here. And yeah, I think it's Gonta. Where, where is Gonta? It was the same way when we went to the library after Rentaro's class trial. All clean. Nothing ever happened. Oh man, I'm tired as fuck. I was up all night fixing that computer. Ah, you took a look at the computer on the fourth floor. What do you think? Yeah, I only just started working on it, so I don't know the full specs, but... That thing is pretty good. It, it, I mean, it's so intense. It just won't let me sleep. Jealous. <laughs> Are you jealous? Of course not. I would never be jealous of a computer. A robot jealous of a computer? It seems just plain possible. Hey guys, am I sleepwalking or something? What's she doing here? Oh, you little troll. Oh, I see. I'm hallucinating. After what Maki said before, there's no way she'd be here. Boy, boy. Don't say something so stupid. You'll never get to know her better if you never talk to her. Maybe everyone would prefer that. Maybe everyone would prefer that this dangerous killer stays far away from us. <laughs> of course, I wouldn't prefer that at all. Because uh, Motodam is not watching and, and doesn't want to see uh, me making everyone not get along. So, you know, Kaido. I'm getting along with everybody, right? You better cut it out, bro. Yeah, when you think about it, though, on that note. Kokichi is alienating Maki. He's trying to get everyone to be against her. If Motodam catches wind of that or sees that, wouldn't he call him out on it and threaten him at the very least? Threaten him? So Kokichi, man, are you, you you're playing a dangerous game? No, no. He's right. Murder and death have no place in a peaceful academy life. Uh. Yeah, it's just like Angie said. Uh. Yeah, it's just like Angie said. Huh? Everyone, it's serious. So, no. 
Oh no, the colossal insect is on the other side of the wall, isn't it? Mm -hmm. No, not that. Gunto went to courtyard before coming here and... Okay, okay. Thanks for bearing with us. Come on! What is it? Why do you call us out all of a sudden? We're the ones who called them out. Did you forget that too? Let's worry about Motaro later and present the motive now. So it is a motive after all. Yeah. It doesn't matter what the motive is. We will not do the killing game anymore. That's right. We aren't afraid of anything anymore. Because we have a tour. And now the plot thickens. What? But it's no ordinary. It's no ordinary motive. This motive will inspire fear like never before. Fear like never before. If you face a fear like never before, you will have no choice but to unite. Now, for the motive that will cast you down into the depths of terror. Yes, yes, please. Who is this transfer student? Let's go. Is it one of you guys? That would be interesting. Or is it. Oh, no. No, they made. No. Continue. Continue. Okay, okay. Okay, here we go. Go on. Uh, a transfer student? We can resurrect someone. The instructions for the resurrection ritual are written in the Necronomicon. See, right here. By performing the ritual as written, you can resurrect one deceased victim. But only of one of the four who have died so far can become the transfer student. Whoever you choose, that person will be considered part of the killing game semester. Ah. So technically you can kill them again as soon as they're resurrected. You know, if you wanted to use it like that. This motive is supposed to bring them closer together. Uh, uh, oh, sorry, old habits and such. Monodan, let's forgive Montaro. Forgiving is what friends do, you know. Play along. Sticky thoughtness. Monophony, you're nice. But there is more to friendship than being nice. Friends also punish each other when they do something wrong. That's why I'll have you punish Montaro. What? Me? Please, no, not Monophony. I'm always mocking her when she's not looking, eh? <laughs> I don't want to be punished by her. Fine, I'll do it. Gasped. We were all completely dumbfounded. I feel like this academy has prepared me 
for absurd situations. But what I heard was the most absurd thing so far. Transfer student? Resurrecting the dead? Don't say such a stupid thing. There's no way resurrecting the dead is possible. It just can't happen. Jeez. Who the fuck would believe that load of unscientific bullshit? <sighs> this belief due to a lack of scientific merit is simply the hubris of a scientific society. This ritual, or rather, resurrection ceremony stems from funeral ceremony the world over. See? They are similar, yes? The act of sending the dead to the next world is a sort of a ritual. Through rumors and legends, this, that twist, uh, that ritual twisted into a way to return the dead to this world. Oh, the rumors and legend. That ritual twisted into a way to return the dead to this world. So in other words, he's trying to say is other people made bringing the dead back to life into a kind of a taboo. A ritual? Okay. Okay, that's an interesting way to piece the puzzle together. Maybe all of our pictures and bodies are there because we're all getting resurrected? Indeed. Since you keep rambling about it, I'm guessing you really believe all that stuff. Huh, Keo? Ha! <laughs> <laughs> ah, what are you saying? There is no way the dead can be resurrected. <laughs> what? Ikana. <laughs> Without a doubt, the souls of the dead exist, but they cannot be brought back to life. Dead flesh cannot be restored, just as broken glass cannot be mended. Hmm. So, you believe in souls, but you don't believe those souls can be resurrected? Uh. Mm, that seems confusing, but I know if we ask, this conversation will just Go on forever. Oh. If not even Kyo believes it, then there's no such thing as resurrecting the dead. Yes, yes. And if this idealistic degenerate can't believe it, no reasonable girl would believe it either. So hmm. You think so? I don't think it's strange for the dead to come back to life. <laughs> the kooky bitch is finally talking. But too bad no one's interested in your bullshit cult. Oh, damn. The first time you actually someone called her out on that. Like and said it. A cult. Cult. The C word. Yeah. No. Wait. Let's hear what Angie has to say. Yes, Angie is free to speak. <laughs> Can I say it? Yay! Okay, I'm gonna say it. Because that's what Atua desires. I, I can't follow this conversation at all. Okay, let's talk to everyone. See what they're thinking. Let's listen to what Angie has to say. Yep. What? Do you think it's strange that I want to listen to Angie? So what? It's also important to listen to others so we can work together. If Angie is saying it, a dead person might really come back. Yeah. Hey, let's hurry up and ask her. 
Nanja. What? Don't talk to me about that. I want to hear Angie talk. Okay, now first and foremost, Miss Magic Girl, if anyone can bring back the dead to life, it would be you with magic. But okay. What's wrong, Kaido? You don't look well. Oh. No, no, it's nothing. I'm just not feeling so good. All of a sudden? <laughs> it's getting kind of weird now, but at least it's not boring. Huh? Why the fuck is everyone listening to this crap? A am I the only one not falling for this? And I was so sure of myself too. Maki just like all in the corner. A mm. uh, Tua. <gasps> I wonder what manner of god it is that Angie speaks of. Mm. Does that bother you as an anthropologist? Boku. No, I have interest in gods. But I have great interest in their creators. Humans are the only ones who created gods. And I am very interested in humanity. So I'm guessing I said that wrong. He has no interest in gods, only humans? I wish to know the causes and reasons why human beings create gods. In that sense, the school is more interesting. Because it is during times of great crisis that humans create gods. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe a god shall be created here as well. Ah, good, interesting analysis. I get where Angie's coming from, but you, Kyo? <laughs> Bring dead back to life. Gonzo no can believe that. Or his family teach Gunta everything that born and everything that die part of grand flow and flow never rewind. Mm. Gunta would be happy if everything that died could come back. But even Gunta know there is no way to take back what already happened. This resurrection ritual sounds stupid. I got dragged here for this? I should have ignored you guys after all. Alright, Angie. Crack the bubbly on this uh, Atua stuff. So, you can believe. So, you believe you can? Revive the dead, Angie? Um, I don't think the resurrection ritual can really bring the dead back to life. It's probably more like returning the dead to us. What do you mean? That sounds like the same exact thing. You know how the bodies of all the victims have been cleaned up? Yo, you are so suspicious right now, seriously. You the mastermind? Are you the mastermind, Angie? So clean, it is like there was never a dead body to begin with. So maybe they were never dead to begin with. They weren't dead. Yeah. No, that's not possible. We inspected all the bodies ourselves. Demo, demo. But. But, it might have been a very accurate imitation. Masaka. An imitation? Naruhodo. Monokuma and the Existus are evidence of ridiculous scientific advancements. So, it may be possible for them to create extremely convincing imitations. Huh? 
If that's what Angie says, then I'm starting to plainly agree. Mama. I've always supported Angie. <laughs> Yay! Thank you, everyone. Choto. What? No, wait a minute. I saw them with my own eyes. Don't sit. Ah! Don't raise your voice to Angie, you rude degenerate. No. Hey, you don't want them to be alive, Suichi? You don't want the dead to be alive? I, I, I do. I do want that. I wish they were still alive. Even now, I think that. But no matter how much we want that. Oh, wait. If everyone alive, then that mean they're somewhere in school. Right? Oh, maybe one of them write message in courtyard. The message in the courtyard. Okay, we're gonna figure out what that message is in the courtyard. What that message is. There you go. So, interesting. Gonta found it. Um, I'm curious. Who wrote it? In the comments below. Tell me which one of the four people who died wrote it. Is it Rantaro? Is it Kaide? Is it Ryoma? Or is it Kurumi? Please let it be Kurumi. Please, please. Anyway, I'm Alpha signing off. Thank you for watching. Later.